Welcome to That's Good Broncos. Today I'll be bitching about Roger Goodell and the NFL rule changes. I have a message for Roger Goodell and the NFL Competition Committee. Stop changing the rules to make the game of football suck. The extra point being moved back is absolutely stupid. Nobody who has ever watched a football game has said, you know, I would like to watch more football, but I just can't get past these boring extra points. They're supposed to be easy. It's like, make up your fucking mind, NFL. You want extra points to be harder to score, but you want the offense to score 20 touchdowns a game? The amount of flags thrown last night in the Broncos-Seahawks game was ridiculous. Why even have a defense on the field? They can't touch the fucking offensive players, so just get rid of them. Pull your head out of your ass. You're screwing up something that's not broken. You operate under the notion that you need to evaluate how to make the game better every year. But what you're doing is slowly changing the game into something nobody wants to see. You're thinking about it too much. You're overthinking it. Now, if you want to redeem yourself, let defensive backs play football. I'm really upset because I feel like there's nothing I can do. And I hate having to sit back and watch something I love slowly turn into a giant pussy. It's one thing when you change rules for safety, like eliminating chop blocks, but to have the refs throw flags for any sort of physical contact between a receiver and a defensive back is a joke. What I really don't understand is why these terrible rule changes keep happening. Nobody wants the game to be harder for the defense. Nobody likes that DBs are treated like second-class citizens in coverage situations. How can every fan who watches the game, every NFL analyst on TV, and every former player be wrong, and the few people on the competition committee, along with Roger, I hate football Goodell, be right? That's what perplexes me. It's not like it's an issue with a big gray area. The NFL has become lopsided, and the only new rules tend to favor the offense. You can't even touch the fucking quarterback without seeing a flag thrown. Don't hit the QB low, or high, or lunge at him during a tackle. In fact, don't hit him at all unless you clap your hands twice in front of his face and ask his permission to be gently escorted to the turf. See? Even my cat hates the fucking rules. She breaks them all the time. Aww. Little bitch, don't give a shit. I get that you're trying to cover your ass by making the game safer after years of denying former players proper medical coverage after they suffered the long-term effects of bashing their brains in every week. I even understand that the cover-up was happening long before you were commissioner, Mr. Goodell, but the only way to make the game safer from concussions is to not allow grown-ass men to hit each other. Which is impossible. All I'm asking is that you stop making rules that in turn degrade the game. And quit using safety as your veil to do it. Now here's where I call on us, the fans, to take action. The way I see it, we need to get rid of Roger Goodell. Now, I've never asked for anything from the President of the United States of America, Barack Obama. Not even for student loan forgiveness. But today, I'm asking you, President Obama, to fire Roger Goodell. I'm asking the fans of football to write letters to our president demanding that he instate an NFL commissioner who is tough and someone who actually respects and understands the game of football. My nomination for the new commissioner is Mike Ditka. We need somebody with attitude like Ditka who actually understands that the game is played between a defense and an offense. Somebody who understands that extra points aren't broken. Somebody who understands that quarterbacks are men too, and that it's okay if they get hurt. Somebody who understands that soccer, the most popular sport in the world, frequently has games that end in 0-0 ties or 1-0 wins, and nobody has stopped watching it because there aren't enough points scored. A tough football game that ends with a 10-7 score is just as entertaining to watch as a game that ends 45-38. People like watching defense, so stop trying to take it out of the game. And the extra points aren't what bore people who watch football. It's the thousand commercial breaks that occur during a game.
where you make all of your money and your $44 million a year salary. Yeah. Extra point, commercial. Kickoff, commercial. Three and out, commercial. I watch 15 minutes of commercials and get to see about two and a half minutes of football. Never have I thought the extra points needed to be tweaked. But given five minutes to actually think about it, I've already come up with a better solution than moving them back. If you want to make it more interesting, do this. Leave extra points as they are, but add a second option for two-point conversions. Give the team the choice of trying to score in the end zone for a two-point play like we already have, or give them the option of kicking a 50-yard field goal for a two-point play. That'll really spice things up. Why am I so upset? It's because I love football. I really love watching football, especially my team, the Denver Broncos, and I hate to see it being steered in the wrong direction. There are a lot of things I could live without, but the NFL isn't one of them. If you ask me whether I'd rather lose the NFL forever or have both of my hands cut off, I'd choose to have my fucking hands cut off. I can't replace the pleasure I get from watching football. If I lose my hands, I can always buy a fleshlight. And that's how you know something is worth loving. It's based on its difficulty to replace. It's like my girlfriend and I just got a kitty. Now I love this cute little kitty. I do love it. But if she were to die due to an accidental poisoning because I left antifreeze next to her water dish, I could easily replace her with another kitten from the shelter. My girlfriend, on the other hand, would be way harder to replace. And not just because my personality is deemed unbearable by most women. It's because she's fucking awesome. Not only is she my girlfriend, she's like my best friend. That's hard to find. The NFL is like my best friend. The terrible NFL rule changes are like a form of cheating on me. It's like I'm finding out my girlfriend's been giving guys hand jobs in loaf and jug bathrooms. Am I going to break up with her for it? No. Am I going to stop watching the NFL even though it's like watching a real life version of Madden football? No. And in there lies the problem. The NFL knows that no matter how much it changes the game, we'll keep watching it because we have no other choice. It's irreplaceable. Not like my cat. So President Obama, please do the right thing and save the NFL. You seem like a pretty chill president who loves sports. So you know what I'm talking about. Forget immigration, health care, and foreign policy. Fix America's heart before it needs a triple bypass to save it from the cholesterol Roger Goodell keeps forcing it to consume. Thanks for watching another episode of That's Good Broncos. Make sure to... Uh, write your official letters and send them to President Obama. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel. You don't have to do them in that order. I prefer you subscribe first and then write the president a letter to tell him to fire Roger Goodell. And put in Mike Ditka. Go Ditka!